Cool noodles. I know that seems weird, but I'll explain that in a minute. And then that is the Kiwi brand um, shoe, or excuse me, boot protector spray, a Kiwi buffing brush. Black rag. This is a shine cloth um, Kiwi polish in black and brown. And Kiwi conditioning oil. This is just a suede, like a nap brush and a suede eraser microfiber cloth or chamois will do and Windex. Oh, suede, I think they're Chinese laundry or something like that. Um, the knee boots and um, anyways, I have to do a review on these, but I can't really do a review on them until I wear them and I'm certainly not going to wear them. They're like a stone kind of gray until I protect them because they're just too light I and mean, they're going to get ruined. So here's a little trick that I use, um, and I have two of them stacked in here because they're so tall. Just take a regular pool noodle, and um, if I could find pool noodles still, I'd have a tall one, but I don't. So I just have two, and then you just kind of shove it down there, and then that way you can make the boot stand the way that it would actually stand on your foot while you're spraying it. So let's go spray it. All right, guys, I'm taking a risk here, but um, I'm not ever going to be able to wear that until I treat it. So let's do it. We're going to see if you can spray these without ruining the faux leather, which I believe you can. Um, so let's do it. I'm gonna spray from really far off because these are super light and they're beautiful, but I want them to stay that way. All right, I'm gonna wrap that what happens or sit. But it looks the same color to me. Oh, such a beautiful boot. All right, guys, now I try to do this at least once a year. Um, sometimes it doesn't happen, but usually I do. So what I'll do is I'll take all my shoes out and um, I will take, so this is after I sprayed them. And then, like a dipstick, I totally forgot to film me doing that and now they've all been sprayed so I can't really touch them right now. But, so basically what you do is you just take this little eraser bar and if you have any marks or scuffs, then you just, you know, erase just like you would with a regular eraser. And then you take this side and you just kind of brush up, right? Because you're trying to refresh the nap. So, you know, I would just go like, whoosh, whoosh, come all the way up. Um, and then this is, you know, after they're dry, if you kind of want to loosen the nap a little bit, you can make those really cool plush swirly marks if you're into that. I don't really use that. And then this little thing is good for getting into the corner, like down here where the, the shoe, the bottom of the shoe and the sole, where that little... Place where they meet um, so that you can get out the dirt and whatnot so I do that for all of my suede shoes and then I spray them with this Kiwi boot protector and you want to make sure to do it from like seven to ten inches off and you let it sit for like it says four hours but I usually let it sit for three hours and then I respray them and I let it sit for another three hours and I'll usually set them all out in the garage to dry um, overnight and then I usually do not wear them for about 24 to 48 hours just to make sure that they've fully cured and that they set. You definitely want to make sure that you are not doing it on a really windy day or on a really cold day um, and certainly not when it's going to rain. This is like, I don't know, maybe four hours later. And as you can see, there is no discoloration of any kind. So I'm so excited. I'm gonna spray them one more time. Now, I have only one pair of hunter boots um, and I love them and I wear them all the time but my hang up with them is that I get this white like film and it's called blooming um, and I've watched all the videos on YouTube about how to clean them and blah 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 and you know people put coconut oil on them and yeah it looks great for the first two minutes and then when I go back in there to wear them the next day they have this stuff all over them again now that said I, I conditioned the entire boot both of them um, with coconut oil and then I let it sit for like 24 hours and then you know I just kind of wiped it off with a rag again I was just trying to protect the rubber from drying out and cracking um, and I was I'm not willing to spend the money on the hunter boot spray because I just don't like to buy things like that I just think that's kind of gimmicky um, but again when I looked at the title buff 
buffing spray, I thought, let's see if this works. I've never seen anyone do this. And you guys, I am not lying. Like, look at the difference. I don't know if you can really see. Yeah, you can probably see right there. And I'll just kind of go up. Let me turn them around because you can really see it there. I mean, I was just like, oh, I'm in love with these boots all over again. Um, look at that. Let me try to get up like really, really close. Yeah, so. Guys, really honestly, um, I'm gonna try to show you how to do this, but I mean, it's really, you know, it's not hard. You just take your boot. I stuck my arm in the actual shaft of the boot and then just kind of, you know, as hard as you can kind of go back and forth. And I did not put anything on this brush. I Now I'm not gonna tell you that it did not require a lot of like elbow grease, um, it did. But look at that boot, it looks brand new. I'm trying to find a patch where it's like really white and gross. There we go, let's do this one. Can you guys see that? A white patch right there. Okay, so hopefully you can see this. So again, I'm just gonna kind of stick my arm in here like this. Kind of use your wrist like push your wrist up to the area that you're you know actually trying to work on because it pushes it up and then it makes it easier to like really dig into okay i mean i probably don't need to go on to demonstrate that like here so let me stand this guy up right now obviously this is where i did not do it this is where i did not do it and then this is where i did it and you saw i mean i only did it for a couple seconds there Again, um, it is going to be your arm workout for the day, but it just takes out all, I mean, you know, and to make it look like this one, obviously you don't have to keep going on it, but you can just see from that little demonstration, it just takes it all out. <laughs> it's like magic, I'm so excited right now. All right guys, and again, um, I so apologize. I just wish I had been thinking that I was going to film this, but all right. So what you can do is just take your boot. This is the little ombre effect that I was telling you about. I like that look. Um, so it's kind of very like dark down there and then it kind of gets lighter as you go up. Um, that probably is not for everyone, but again, I like the way that looks. I think it looks like very distressed and it makes it look more unique and like a more higher end boot than, you know, just looking like your basic brown boot. So. is you're gonna take your little applicator and then brown. You could do this with black too if, if it's a lighter or like a gray if you really wanted to. Um, but so you're gonna take this and you're gonna dip it in here. Now this still has some on here. Um, now I've already done this boot obviously, but so what you do is, so I will pick this up like this, okay? Take this and press it into this area right here like this. Okay, and I go over this entire area and then especially like right across the tip, you know, I put a little bit of color there and then I just kind of keep coming around the boot doing that. But again, I'm holding it like this. So I'm just dropping a little bit of the darker color down here at the bottom. Um, and then I take it and pull it, you know, all the way across the heel and everything just to kind of make everything look new and polished. Um, and then, you know, let it dry and then just use your trusty buffing brush, you know, buff all that out. And then you wanna come in after the fact and use the Kiwi conditioning oil over the entire boot and then go through, you know, let that sit for an hour or 20 minutes, whatever. And then you wanna go through the entire thing and just buff it out so that you get that kind of nice, little bit of a shine. You know, you don't want your boots to look high gloss or whatever, but you certainly don't want them to be covered in dust and dirt. Um, so anyways, that's how I do my little ombre effect on the boot, and I hope you guys like that. Now, I have bought these from Forever 21. I don't even know. It's been a really long time, several years ago, um, but you would not know it to look at them because I do treat them once a year. Again, because I, this is just kind of something that I do. Um, but they're not leather and they're not suede, they're new buff. Um, and yes, my nails are destroyed from fixing all my shoes, but that's okay, I'll fix them after I'm done. So try to not look at that. 
Um, so this would be, you know, when they get nicks and scratches and whatnot, um, it's difficult to replace the color because you can't, you know, put the polish on and then buff it in and do all that. But I did figure out a technique and this has been working for me really well for many, many years. So I thought I would share this with you. So you just take your regular black, you know, shoe polish and you need this little applicator brush for this technique. Well, I guess you could, I guess technically you could, could do it with like a cloth, but I would get one of these. They're like 50 cents. Um, and then what you do is, you know, you dip it in the polish and then you just kind of like stipple it on like that. You just kind of stipple, 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 stipple. Now, obviously, again, this shoe is already done, but you should have seen it before. I and mean, there were patches of just places where it was all worn off and just looked disgusting. Um, and then you just kind of stipple it on. Doo -doo 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 -doo, and then, you know, let it dry for a good long while. And then just take your... Um, buffing brush, whatever brand, doesn't matter. And then, you know, just give it a light, you know, buff that stuff off. You know, go in each direction, but just do it kind of lightly because you're, you're not trying to bring it to that high shine. You're just trying to knock off the extra polish. But I'm telling you, this works like a charm. I don't know if you can see, yeah, I guess you can kind of see right there, the texture. I mean, it has a really cool texture. It looks exactly like it's brand new and it definitely maintains um, the style that was intended. It definitely does not look like straight flat leather. Um, and I love this little tip and trick and I hope you do too. Um, and totally just do not even look at that. It's so gross. I even tried to hit it with the little suede eraser bar, but I don't really care. It's just the inside of my shoe. I already wiped it down clean, but okay. Who's looking at that? No one, just me. Um, so for patent leather, what you want to do, you don't have to do this, but I do, again, I always condition it with coconut oil, leave it sit for 24 hours, kind of make sure to wipe it off. Um, and then you're going to think this is crazy, but this works like a charm. Just hit it with some straight Windex and any kind of like microfiber cloth like this, or like a, what are they called? Like a chamois, a chamois, the thing that you were supposed to use on your car, brings them right back to brand new shine. <laughs>